I'm Jared Broadbent with Arc Solar Systems and today we're going to be demonstrating the SPG 3000 solar power generator from Arc Solar Systems. This is a fully self-contained and self-sustaining unit that allows us to capture the sun's energy and use it to power our most important electrical devices. So today we're going to be demonstrating the appliances and electrical devices that can be powered from our Arc Solar Systems generator. So let's get started. a blender, a blow dryer, a toaster, a radio, Lights, a television, A refrigerator, and even a microwave oven. It also has a USB port so we can plug in and power our personal electronic devices. Okay, so we're going to get started on how to operate the SPG 3000 today. And in order to charge it, we're going to first lay out our solar array and then connect it to the quick connectors on the back of the SPG 3000. And now that we have our extension cables plugged in, the other end of this plugs into our solar array. We'll flip it around. And then we'll turn on our power switch and this is going to activate our charging system. Here we have our generator in charging mode. You can see that we have a four panel system, which is 272 watts of solar power coming in right now. And our charging system is on and you can tell that our solar light is on here. If we press the display, then that will tell us how much power is coming in in terms of watts and amps. 
and what our current voltage is. We also have our battery fuel gauge, which we ran the battery down to zero, so now we're testing the uh, charging system. Today we're going to be demonstrating the REACT system battery reserve power option that we have available for the ARC Solar Systems SPG3000. Now here on the table we have the uh, SPG3000 solar power generator and here in the center is an example of an external battery pack with all our system hooked up and ready to go. This is our quick connector for it and as you can see it's hooked up to two very basic marine deep cycle batteries. Now this is going to triple the amount of uh, power storage that we would normally have with just the battery that's inside our Arc Solar Systems generator because we have a 100 amp hour battery in here and we have two 100 amp hour batteries here and here that are connected together in parallel and then connected again to our uh, quick connector. Now this, this will attach to our generator anytime we need it to and all three batteries will become one. I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. Now over here to the right we have our cable system. This is the cable system that we're going to install in our solar power generator and it will just stay there. This second long cable system here is going to be added to our external batteries and this cable system here is for adding two batteries together. So the basic cable system that we have here, this option as you see it, is made for two external batteries. Now of course if we want to add more batteries we certainly can. All we need for that is just simply another cable set like these. And uh, that's, a, that's certainly available if you wanted to add more than two batteries you certainly can. We can do, we can do uh, one external battery, we can do two, we can do five, we can do ten, we can do twenty. So it all depends on how much storage that uh, we want and how much space we have to be able to build this external battery pack. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate how to connect our SPG3000 generator to our external battery pack. And basically we're just going to flip around the generator here and as you can see we have um, our quick connector attached permanently to our SPG3000 solar power generator. Connection for the external battery reserve power pack is very quick and easy so the first thing we're going to do is open the generator. And we're going to disconnect this quick connector on our negative battery terminal. Then remove the plug, pass the connector through, go ahead and close it. And then we're going to remove both of the uh, dust cover caps, connect our main battery connector. and then connect our quick connector to our external battery pack and that's it our battery reserve power system is now connected and all the batteries in the system are going to charge as one from our solar panels so what we see here in this final segment is the react system battery reserve power cable kit all connected and operating. You can see the solar panels out there. We've got a 288 watt solar array that is currently connected to our generator, the SPG3000, and it's charging the system. Now we have the battery inside the uh, generator in here that comes standard and then we have our two extra batteries over there that are, our, that are going to act as our reserve power supply and they're all connected through our quick connect system. So with the REACT system running it's actually charging all three batteries and the system will view them all as one battery. So we'll, we'll be charging them as one as long as it's connected and drawing from them as one. Now this is one example of the REACT system battery reserve power cable system that will basically what we've done here, this is an option that uh, anybody has the, uh, the ability to do. Basically what we've done here is we've taken the two batteries and the cable system, we purchased two batteries and we put them inside a standard Stanley toolbox you get from Lowe's or Home Depot and they're wired in parallel as you can see here and we just drilled a couple of holes to run our cable system out out of the end here. 
and now we can uh, attach this to our SPG 3000 solar power generator. Now, I use this for myself because uh, I go camping a lot, so I like to have my extra power reserve system portable. So this is just another example of something that we can do with this uh, battery reserve cable system. Hi, today is August 16th, 2012, and we're here in beautiful Grand Teton National Park. And over the next several days, we're going to be conducting some tests of the Arc Solar Systems SPG 3000 solar power generator. Now here we have our generator, and these are our four solar panels all rolled up. One of the tests we're going to be conducting today is a test of the REACT system or Renewable Energy Adaptive Interconnecting System. And that is a system of components that plug into our ARC solar system power generator. Now this is the component that we're going to be testing right here. And this is the BRP325 and this is a, uh, a battery power pack that plugs in to our solar power generator to give us more energy reserve. And this is uh, one of the components that we're going to be testing on this trip. Today is August 19th, 2012 and we're on day four of our test here in Grand Teton National Park. And what you see here is the solar collectors that we use for our SPG 3000 solar power generator from Arc Solar System. So we have 272 watts of panels here, four panels at 68 watts each, that are hooked up to our connectors and these go inside our tent and are connected to our generator. Now we've had um, several things operating for the past four days. We've had a coffee maker running every morning, lights every night, a Bose radio system, a computer, a DVD player. We've been watching probably two to three to four hours of movies per night and um, our uh, lights and uh, we've had no issues at all. We've even ran the heater. We have a little small 1500 watt heater that we've had uh, that we turned on you know for a short time just to heat up the inside of the tent when it gets really cold. So great news. It's been running perfectly. Now here we are inside the tent and you can see the SPG 3000 um, running in operation here and you can see that we're reading right now approximately 12.7 volts. So this is our secondary battery pack that is hooked up and interconnected with our solar generator here. So we have our battery reserve pack here and our solar generator here. They are connected through um, a quick connect cable in the rear so that we have actually three batteries acting as one. One inside the main generator which is independent and we can turn that off and on, disconnect our component system here and take our reserve um, pack off and just take our generator with us if we need something smaller and more portable. Or if we're running higher power units um, we're going to want to have our REACT system battery pack. So um, it's been working perfectly and as you can see it is... Uh, the light is on on the regulator right now. It is receiving power. This is one of the regulators that we use. Well, there are several. Uh, they all will give us the indication that they are charging, just like this one. And um, you can see it's been working uh, fantastic. Again, we are on uh, day four of our test here in Grand Teton National Park.